Now let's do A union B complement. So remember we have done A union B. So if I have A union B, I've shown the working before in the next previous video. So we have this for A union B. It means we shade A and B. So this is A union B. Now A union B complements. Now we have A and B universal so a union b everything complements so now i've said if you have complement you are going to leave that part out and shade the rest any part you now have shade it now a union b is this so what is now a union b complement it means you are going to leave all this out and shade the rest so that is a union b complement shade the rest so I will leave a union B and shade the rest like this so that is a union B complements so that's it leave a union B and shade the rest anytime you have complement don't forget leave what you have inside and shade the rest so that is complement so now let's see a intersection b so we are going to show workings for this so we've not done it yeah so a intersection b so to do a intersection b we must do it one by one so this is a and this is b so now a intersection b so i have to do a first shade a first so what is a shade only a then intersection b then shade b next but use different pattern don't use the same pattern so i'm doing this so now intersection means what is common to both so that means my result answer is this now if it is union i'll consider the single line the single line and the double lines yeah but anytime you have intersection it is the double lines that matters because we have a and b so you need to find where the two cross each other so that is your intersection. So if you look at the diagram very well, you will notice this is where they cross. So that is, yeah. So that is intersection. So now, in drawing it again now, so this is A, B. So that means A intersection B. So is here. So where the two lines cross, so that is the answer for A intersection B. So this is like showing workings. This is the final result. So now let's say A intersection B complements. A intersection B complements. So we have known A intersection B just now so a intersection b is here so now you will leave that part out and shade the rest remember if you have complement so you leave that part you are talking about then shade the rest so that means i'm leaving the intersection and shade the rest so i'm leaving that intersection so shade the rest So like that so this is a intersection b complements so like that so now we can also have another representation for a intersection b complement and a union b complement so i'll show it now or we'll see it later so let me show it now so to end it so we have a intersection b complements like this so now there is an identity that is 
A intersection B complement is the same thing as A complement union B complement. Take notes. So A intersection B complement, everything is equals to A complement union B complement. So master this diagram now. So that is A intersection B complement. So now let me show this one in diagram. A complement union B complement. It should be like this. So now let's do that one. A complement union B complement. So A complement union B complement. So to do that is one by one. Everything is easy. Just do it one by one. So now I'm making it bold. So you can see this is A and this is B. So universal. So now what is A complement union B complement? So you have to do this one by one. And remember union means you are shading everything. Including both. That is single, double and um, single lines and double lines. You are shading everything together for union. So now A complement union B complement. So now first let's do A complement what is a complement you say you are going to leave out a this a and shade the rest so that is complement we've done that before so do a complement leave a and shade the rest but use one pattern so in the next one use different pattern so this one I'm using this way. So that is A complement. So leave A and shade the rest. Now B complement. It means you will leave B. This is B. Leave B. That circle complete and shade the rest. So now I will leave B, but I'm using different pattern. See the pattern I'm using now. So I'm shading the rest. So you leave B, shade the rest. But use different pattern like this. So leave B, shade the rest. So if you look at this yellow now, I've shade A and B. So now I leave B and shade the rest. So now, if you look at the diagram, the only part that we did not shade is this middle. That is the only part you did not shade. So now, but union means if you have traced the lines, you will see I have single lines here. I have single lines here. And I have double lines outside. So if you have single and double for union, you pick everything together. So but if it is intersection, you will only pick the double. You don't need the single. So now, pick everything together apart from this middle so you are not shading that so you are shading the rest so just making it big so that the shading will be fast so that's it so now you will notice now that a intersection b complement is equal to a complement union b complements so like that so let's move on in another video